Okay, so we're starting. Yay! Hooray! Uh, this is uh, part three uh, of Blades in the Dark. We're playing Blades in the Dark. Uh, and these are the hawkers known as the princes. Um, yeah, uh, if, you've, if, you've, if you've been here before, uh, you've probably watched it if you're watching this. If you're not, too bad. Go watch the other ones. <laughs> no, uh, give a little bit brief intro of the world. Uh, the world uh, was basically like eight centuries ago. Uh, the apocalypse happened in a semi-fantastical like world of magic. Uh, but the what the apocalypse did was shattered the sun into a million pieces and also uh, like broke the gates of the underworld of hell and let it loose loosen let loosing the spirits uh, that uh, now roam free and haunt the world uh, great uh, lightning barriers uh, were erected uh, of which small slivers of civilization kind of gather behind and um, as powered by uh, these uh, big squishy boys known as <laughs> leviathans uh, that uh, uh, kind of live out in the void sea and are demons is uh, what else I don't know creepy 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 stuff uh, <laughs> the, the world is kind of corrupt, at least Duskfall is, for sure. Everyone is uh, scratching to get a piece. So why don't, uh, I don't know, and Andrew, tell me about Sly in like a sentence or two. Sure. Sly is a orange-skinned diabolist who has a bit of demon blood in him, and he uh, loves to get into trouble. Sweet, yeah, that sounds. He sounds like an interesting character. I think we saw him get into a bit of trouble last time. A bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just a bit, just a bit. Uh, so Tyler, why don't you tell me about Charnel? Uh, Charnel is uh, all of the best parts of uh, of an unfeeling assassin with none of the downsides. Purveyor of smut, has a wide brim hat, and can kill you if you look at him cockeyed. Interesting, interesting. Sounds, uh, sounds like you might be getting up into the smut this episode, because it's going to be the downtime. Uh, yeah, he's a patron of the arts, let's just say that. If you have a Patreon and you draw stuff the way he likes, you have a guaranteed $5 a month. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, and Chris, why don't you tell me a little bit about Red? Sure, yeah. Red's a, a scoundrel, a second story man, a burglar, uh, with light fingers, and uh, got tired of trying to live an honest life uh, trading, and decided that it would be a little bit easier uh, if his supply came from a more illicit source. So he's uh, teamed up with these two uh, ne'er-do-wells and is uh, making his own life. Cool, yeah, that sounds amazing. Uh, and together, you three make up the crew known as the Princes, because uh, it was kind of like a, nom uh, a moniker that some of the other probably crews gave you, uh, because you are aboard the boat called the Palace. Um, all right. Uh, so last time, uh, you guys did a score, uh, and the score was a bit more social. Uh, you went into Charter Hall and convinced the, I believe it was the Red Sashes, uh, that mm -hmm. you would, uh, they'd make more money if you let them sell your quality drugs, which is known as the Red Icker, uh, at Charter Hall for the students there. Uh, they cut you in uh, on a deal that involved a ghost and drugging everybody. <laughs> and you made money. Uh, which reminds me that you you've made a deal with that involved selling and supply. I think you actually get a two additional coin for your crew. I'm gonna mark that now. 
Uh, also, I decided that because it's a deal, uh, you don't need to pay up to these guys, but you do need to pay up to the other people. So I'm gonna give you, if you want, I can give you one more coin, give you back that extra coin you paid uh, to, to Red Sashes, because you know, they're your business partners. They're not like, you're not paying up to them. Um, because they're gonna give you the money, right? Because they're, they're the middlemen, they don't give you extra money. Uh, so it doesn't make any sense, like mechanically. Um, but you still have to pay the hive for selling it because they have um, basically they're they they they're letting you you know uh, work their work in this the the silk shore um, so if you don't you there, there's there's bet there's debt to pay so do you want to uh, pay you want to keep the red give the red sashes that extra coin and I'll actually push them up uh, on the faction status to be more friends. Or do you give that coin to uh, the hive instead? And, or like, yeah. Sorry, was give the coin to the hive or... Or like pay a coin from your vault and uh, the, the red sashes will keep their coin that you, uh, they, that you gave them, but I'll push them up a status one more. Okay, can we do both or just one or the other? Uh, option A is do both and option B is just give it to the hive i think oh just give it to the hive i see or you uh, could do neither you could do neither and i could start like a clock that says the hive wants their debt or something okay and you can get one more coin i mean i think we should try and make friends with the red sashes yeah we can do both let's do it try and do that yeah okay so i'll take one coin and i will push the hive up uh on the faction Wait, the hive or the red sashes? Oh, the red sashes. Sorry. Yeah, you've, you've got it right. Uh, where is the, the faction? There they are. Gangs. Factions. The red sashes, I think, are currently... Like, one. But I'll put them to two. Because they're friends. You're friends with them. You gave them money. They've, you've, you've greased the wheels. Uh, you're now... Uh, friendly so this faction will help you if it doesn't create serious problems for them. They expect you to do the same Okay. Uh, already right. made friends by possessing a guy, but I'll take it All right, uh, so this is gonna be sort of downtime uh, This session is gonna be kind of like downtime mixed with free play a little bit uh, so basically by the end of this session Hopefully you guys decided a score that you need to do and you've spent or have done all your downtime stuff uh, and that would include, I think, asking questions about the score. Uh, so basically everything we did the first session at the end plus like the first half of last session. Uh, so that's what I'm kind of aiming for this session. Okay. Uh, that being said, um, yeah, you've we talk. We'll talk about a little bit about your crews. So, you have a reputation known as being savvy. Uh, you currently have what well, looks like eight coin, four of which needs to be spent or put into your personal stash. Um. And uh, you got, you've managed to acquire uh, turf uh, in uh, in Charter Hall, which is a little bit more of a fancy, rich area. So maybe it makes sense that you have access now to a personal clothier and and uh, vice den in foreign markets a little easier because of the location. It all makes sense in the yeah. end. Yeah, foreign market would would always make sense since our we our home base is technically in the port district, right? So yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so I've, I was doing a bit of faction stuff in between play, uh, and so Lysa, the leader of the crows, was assassinated uh, during the week or whatever. It's kind of word on the street, and uh, but it, it seems also that the lamp blacks currently have the upper hand in an ongoing gang war against their red sashes um, by like murdering some of their members in the streets and crow's foot. Mm. So 
So those are kind of not your allies, but your friends. Uh, I haven't. Um, and what else is there? Uh, the crows are now leaderless, and they're trying to make a show of force against both the land blacks, the citizenry of crow's foot, and the red sashes. So they're just lashing out, uh, trying to like remain relevant. Uh, is that what they're just acting out? Yeah, like because they're 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 first their their second in command killed their leader, the first in command, then assumed their role, and then their second in command was recently assassinated, which was actually a a, a score you guys could have done last time. Okay. Uh, and then so they were assassinated. So now they're yeah, trying yeah. to like do shows of force in order to. Um, go around and uh be be the be the top dog as it were because like they're sort of they're slightly in a better position than the other ones but not much um but the lamp blacks and the red sashes are currently yeah embroiled in a gang war against each other um to stamp each other out now yeah and yeah and the just to let you behind the screen a little bit yeah the lamp blacks uh, have more of their ticks filled on the clock to kill the red sashes. Uh, <laughs> so if okay. you could potentially do something about that as a score also. Uh, there's a, where your where you make dock in or where you make your port in the in the docks. Uh, there's been some scoundrels in Iron Hook that have gone ground and are hiding in some of the uh, the more seedy kind of sailor bars. Uh, at the docks, and ha but they've attracted the attention of bounty hunters to the area. Uh, so Iron Hook's name the prison, so there was a prison break, uh, and now there's some uh, rough-looking people, uh, and even rougher-looking bounty hunters, uh, kind of prowling the area where you keep your boat at night. Great. Um, <laughs> but I think. <clears throat> Uh, so now that we've done that, I think let's go over a little bit of rem reminder of what you guys can do uh, for downtime. And then we'll jump into sort of free play. And and then if you do one of the actions that like trigger a downtime, uh, I think you all get two downtime actions for free. And then you can buy an additional downtime action for one coin per downtime. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we want to do all the XP and the crew advancement? Right. Stuff and all that? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, we'll do that first because that's interest. That's yeah, that was important. So <laughs> you did you've done we've sort of went through it off off screen a little bit. And I was like, you know, what? we'll save this for next time uh, just because it was getting a little late. Um, but you managed to do the crew advancement um, because uh, you acquired supply. Uh, you did contend with the challenge above your station. Uh, you did, uh, and then you you we also counted the uh, the engagement role for the wraiths also because they came on your board your ship. Then you did bolster your crew's reputation a little bit to be more like um, you know you have like the they. People know now you're selling there and are like kind of a little bit aligned with the red sashes because they would never let you sell without uh, permission, I guess. And I believe there's another. I think we gave you another thing. I don't remember why. Uh, anyways, <laughs> and then it was. Uh, well, I remember why. It's because um, expressing the goals drives inner conflict essential nature of the crew which is now being established that we are incredibly chaotic ah oh, yes and, uh, <laughs> constantly running into each other with our own like individual plans that we don't tell each other about so we're just like constantly causing chaos yeah being... yeah but that's what makes us powerful yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was that was true that was true yeah you you were chaotic <laughs> But also somehow savvy, which uh, played out really well last time. Possibly as best it could have <laughs> played out <laughs> with, with such things. Yeah. But uh, it, it gave you enough uh, crew uh, crew XP to now you can either choose a new special ability 
or you can gain two boxes to tick off from the crew upgrades. So it's your choice. A new cohort, so a new gang, will cost two ticks. So if you want like a gang to sell things now, you can you can do that at this time. Um, also, oh yeah, this reminds me. Last time when you trained Resolve, did you mark two XP when you trained Resolve? I did. Okay, good. Because you can train Insight, Powers, and Resolve uh, without the training bonus for right. one. But if you have the training bonus, you get two. Also, if you do it, you could train your playbook XP for one tick uh, also as a downtime action. If you want to advance your de playbook, you could do that as a one downtime a action for one XP. That's interesting to know. Okay. Uh, so we could do the crew upgrade now, or we could do the XP for your individual people. Uh, so uh, let's. I can show this to the crew uh, while we're on it. I can show this to everybody. So there's yeah, there's uh, you know the special ability Silver Tongues, which gives you um, additional action rating. Uh, so you just get you just level up the command concert or sway you click one of the pips because you're just better at it you could do a cord so every time you have an ally it acts as if you have turf um just because you're able to operate on on like a level of like allies you currently don't have any allies um mm -hmm. this needs to be the at the plus three status there's ghost market so you can figure out how to sell your products to ghosts or demons. demons. They, they, they don't pay in coin, but they they pay with something, and you tell me <laughs> what they pay with. Uh, okay. It'd be high society, so it's all about who you know. You take minus one heat in downtime, and plus one D to gather info at the city's elite. I think we also did... We didn't do heat last time, either. Oh, that's we'll, we'll have to do that right at the end. Yeah. But um, and there's hooked. Your gang members use your product. Or your gang members add the savage, unreliable, or wild flaw, but then give them plus one quality. So they'd be better at like doing stuff for you. Okay. Uh, and also, like, yeah, because they're like more apt to listen to you, but they could be unreliable. They disappear or something. Uh, so, patron, uh, so you can, whenever you advance your tier, it costs half the coin. So, someone is fronting the cash and funding you essentially i think that would be interesting but we would maybe want to do a score a, one score with someone you would know before picking that but you don't have to of course i think it'd just be more interesting to do that um yeah and that's the, the special abilities there's crew upgrades so if you did compose you would but you need to do three so you'd only get two thirds of the upgrade uh you ever everyone who Every member of this gang would get an extra stress box for free. There's Hawker's Rigging, so you get a free item and has no load. That could be drugs, that could be like a weapon. Uh, you could just yeah, take a light load or no load and you'd still, be, you'd still have an item. Um, there is Iron Hook Contacts, so you can... When, when, you, when you send your prison people in prison and you make the incarceration roll, you'll count as a tier one or, you know, your tier plus one uh, when incarcerating and also, yeah, when you're in jail. So if you have enough people in jail, you can actually do, like, jail, uh, jail missions, <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then elite rooks and elite thugs would only be useful if you've had a gang so you would need a gang and then you can go like elite thugs and you give that tag to your your uh your gang and now whenever they do thug activities that are listed in the book they count as i think uh, as like fine or whatever their quality is increased okay uh then carriage you'd get like big demonic looking goats on a carriage you can upgrade your boat to be more armored you can make it hidden, so uh, probably where you dock would now would be completely hidden. Uh, you could do secure. You can have a workshop. So whenever you start a uh, like a long-term project, right now uh, it's kind of assumed that you go out 
into the city and do it. So, for example, you want to do uh, invent a flamethrower uh, and then build it. Uh, that's probably two long term for projects. One would be inventing and then the other one would be uh, building it. Uh, and in the inventing, you might go to like, um, might go pick up research and do research at like a library or with other people, tinkers, unless you had a workshop of your own and then you would do it at home, essentially. Um, uh, quality. So when you, everyone kind of has these kind of standard things, uh, documents, gear, implements, supplies, tools is in their, uh, in their, Inventory, but if you click the quality, they'll count uh, as like better. Uh, so you might be able to gain like a bonus die, or there wouldn't be a penalty if someone else was a higher tier than you, uh, which we kind of really didn't do too much of. Which, uh, but I don't think it was that big a deal um, so far. You didn't really use items on other people, uh, for example. And there's the training, which we talked about. And then I think mastery is also needs needs all four. Uh, but once you do that, I think you can get um, up to four ticks or something in your in your skills. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's all of that. Uh, so you, do you have an idea, or do you want to discuss a little bit about what you guys want to do with your crew? Yeah. I have two minds right now. Yeah, well, I mean, we can hear it. Yeah, so basically, Ghost Market is nice in the sense that it gives us more people to sell to, and I deal with ghosts and demons to some extent, so that's attractive to me. Um, the other option is possibly we want to hide our main place since we it feels like we have a lot of heat against us. And maybe even get like another level of secure. <laughs> but that and or we could pop a point in training or I guess there's no way to upgrade our drugs more. But maybe with like I'm trying to see. If you had like workshop and you wanted to like make a good drug or some other kind of drug uh you would do that with like a long-term project, but if you had a workshop, you'd be able to do that uh, without having to go out into the city and do it. Yeah, so maybe maybe then a workshop would be good in that sense. And also gives me a place to do like magical things, but. Um, yeah. So those are my two mindsets, ghost market and hiding our place slash some other side upgrade. Um, I was thinking, sorry, um, in terms of, like, post market, I think, I'm not against taking it, but I wouldn't want to know, like, well, what will they be paying with, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, before we commit to that. Um... I wouldn't mind getting like a cohort, like just getting a gang. I feel like we're gonna need one sooner or later, so now might be a good time. I don't really know what they do exactly. <laughs> yeah, what well, says it? Cohort is a gang or a single expert NPC who works for your crew. So we could get a doctor, for example. <laughs> or we could keep. I mean, we're already out. working. That's a long-term project we have, right? That's so. fair. Yeah. But I would say, like, you know, it might be useful to. Uh, you know, um, yeah, like a gang together. Mm -hmm. We are a gang. I us. mean, like, get like, sorry, get like a street gang, like get like people who work with us. So it's not just us. I mean, it already technically isn't right. We've probably got like runners and whatnot going to our turf uh, in Charter Hall and stuff like that. Like yeah, a, like you have like, like a tertiary network. Yeah, you probably have like tertiary people where you like you are providing drugs to them and they'll sell it and they'll give you money like eventually. Um, but uh, right now, if yeah, if you want like a gang, they you'd you'd use them and you'd roll their quality uh, of their of them and then you would see how they 
like see what they do. So if you're like, oh, go sell stuff for us or come on us on a score so you can use them in kind of different ways. Uh, right. That's what I'm thinking. Like they might be useful because they, you know, they're, they make us more flexible. Um, why can't I find them? Cohort, yeah. Okay, 96, okay. Uh, or you could uh, try to lead the lead them as a group action. So you could, like, for example, lead a skirmish against multiple people, and then you would count as like higher scale. So you get like a bonus dice because there's just more of you uh, to fight. Right. Or you can you know order them with command to go do something. So yeah, it's just imagine a gang of probably two-ish people. Uh, just because, oh, am I not connected to the internet now? You guys hear me? Yeah. Yep, I can hear you. Hey, I can hear you. Hey, good. Um, yeah, um, yeah, just like two-ish people until you gain a tier and then you get more people. Uh, and they could be used in any number of ways uh, you want them to be. And if you, they become like thugs or uh, rooks or more like spies and stuff, you can use them in different ways more effectively. Okay, yeah, yeah, it looks like cause it thugs and rooks. So rooks is con artists, spies, and socialites. And thugs are killers, brawlers, and rustabouts. Roustabouts. <laughs> right. So that's where we specialize. We can also get adepts, rovers, and skulks. Which are all different things. So yeah, basically, exactly what Sean said. But... I don't know, I'm, just, I'm thinking like it might be nice to get some muscle, just in case. Is another strange man comes to our door. <laughs> you want to hire some thugs? That would be that would be one of my thoughts. Yeah, either that or um, I don't mind getting secure level two and maybe a workshop that might give us a lot more options. Yeah, well, I'm looking at it. And it looks like so, so secure level two actually just gives us warning against spirits, which is still good. But I'm mm -hmm. still privy towards hidden if we're looking to eliminate danger. I don't know if you feel like it's too passive, but... Oh, right, 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 hidden. Right, that's what you were talking about. Uh, yeah, that would be fine, too. Um, I remember, course, you know... remember, you need to buy um, the cohorts, I think, first, and then give them the rook, I believe. Or is, am I mis misreading what the elite means for that, for that uh, upgrade? I think elite... So yeah, I was looking at it. It looks like elite just... I mean, yes, yeah, sorry, you're right. We would have to get the cohort and then also get elite. Yeah, like so, so separate upgrades. You would have to like, yeah, get the gang now. Yeah, you have to pay for the. You have to get rooks or thugs, and then get the elite bonus. Yeah. I mean, you could theoretically get the bonus first, but it would do nothing <laughs> until you had a cohort, right? So yeah, that's the other. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I thought it might be nice to grab one now. But yeah, I mean, and keep and good. keep in mind too that if you ever need thinking of a score where you need like muscle, uh, you could just have a downtime action acquire asset and then hire some thugs uh to uh yeah that's true if we ever need something we don't have then we can then yeah we can for, for a score yeah. given that like i said our crew upgrades do include elite rooks and elite thugs right like it's we should probably have it at some point a cohort of rooks and a cohort of thugs you know what i mean i agree i was thinking maybe it would be good to get, you know what i mean like if we do get a cohort of like thugs the next time we could get hidden and elite thugs and then buff up the ones we get because we obviously you're right we don't want to, obviously don't want to take it until we have at least a cohort but mm -hmm. I, well, I mean alternatively we could it depends which we value more having thugs or being hidden um, well i guess it also depends like what, what are we planning on uh what's our next like what's the next job like what are you thinking of uh what, are, what do we want to do what's like what's the next score okay well before we do that then maybe we'll just like keep Keep that in our minds, and we'll do the crew XPs first. Sure. And then maybe we'll do some some downtime slash free play. Get get a little bit more, and maybe at the end of the session, if we don't forget, uh, do the uh, the crew upgrade when, once we have a better idea of where we're heading. Okay. Uh, so who wants to go first uh, for their ability to level up? I opened up Sly's first. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. 
Uh, so did you? Oh, it's nice. It's not playing. Music stopped somehow. Okay. Kind of made notes on it for the last time. But... Okay, so did you address a challenge with the knowledge or arcane power? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I did uh, multiple times. Um, was I mean the possession of? There was the communing of spirits over in Chatter Hall, and then there was the um, possession of what's his face, and then dealing with the spirit there. So I feel like there was at least two instances of me using the ghost field and my dabbleless nature. So that was nice to finally get to flex, yep. flex that part of my character. I, uh, I, I totally agree. Uh, please mark two, because you did it a couple of times. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? I definitely expressed my background in the sense of the diabolism and the ritual I performed to break the ba like the shackles of the spirit over in Chatter Hall. So I feel like I get one for that, but I'm trying to think about anything else in terms of... I didn't think I had anything else for background or heritage, really. Um, like My heritage was there, but it wasn't really core. But beliefs or drives? I'm trying to think what beliefs or drives my character has. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, so actually, I'm wondering this now. <laughs> so you tell me. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm. I guess I'm starting to see a uh, a path for my character. So it's the idea of doing anything, achieving his goal at any cost, um, such as releasing a violent spirit and having it possess his business partner, and then like potentially having it a leash on the community at large. So I feel like Sly is becoming this sort of like, not necessarily ends justify the means, but like whatever the cost sort of mentality. Um, okay, so so what you're but, saying is give you more devil's bargains. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I think it's going to be an interesting character to play where he's sort of um, just very like ruthless almost. Not Not evil, but like, you know. He's willing to do things that he shouldn't to get his results. I mean, you've, you've, you, sounds at this point you're convincing yourself. I'm already convinced. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna, the direction I'll take him in the future. But yeah, I know it's a lot of fun. So, and struggling with your issues, your vice or traumas during the session, you currently don't have traumas and yeah. didn't that really was... do a downtime thingy at the beginning. So maybe this session. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds sounds good to me. Um, moving on, uh, Red, you want to go? Um, so you addressed a challenge with stealth or evasion. Um, I don't think anything really sprung to mind. Um, when you were on the boat, did you try sneak up to that wraith guy? Uh, no, that was that was reflex. So there was a question of who asked acted first, and that was me. Mm. Um, you, ex I did. I think I expressed. No, no, like my... like at the very beginning when those like that the guy kind of tried to sneak in on the boat and steal your stuff. And you, you. Oh, that was last session. Wow. That was yeah, that was the beginning of last uh, session. Yes. <laughs> in that case, yes, I, I used stealth in uh, in that instance to defuse that. Uh, situations yes yeah because i think you tried to like hit him when he wasn't looking or something and uh, i i failed. this i you know knocked out one of them and said you know threaten the other one so he wouldn't try anything yeah i think that's fair to you say okay um i know that the second one the uh my heritage came or yeah my heritage came into it because the guy we were dealing with was uh clearly bigoted and i remember like re like reacting to my character that by like i'm just gonna take drugs because i was mad <laughs> that this guy was being a jerk i mean so, that's fair it drove it, my character twice yeah i like that uh definitely take an xp uh for that uh what about your maybe beliefs or drives um or or was it more like your heritage came into play and that was like the main thing 
Yeah, I think my yeah my beliefs or drives didn't really like I said I, I'm a I'm a burglar at heart. I like stealing things, and so this is the business part. But this this is necessary for what the gang needs to do. But it's not like my character's passion, you know. Okay. Yeah. 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 And if you're well, driven you have... to do this, this is like a necessary thing. Well, it says you have a background in trading, and then you want to make friends. But then you were like, maybe this guy's not a <laughs> not worthy of my time. Yeah, exactly. Like this wasn't a friend. Like, we weren't making friends. Like we were making an alliance. You know? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, did you struggle with issues your vice or trauma during the session? You currently don't have any traumas, and, and uh, not struggle with my vice now. And struggle with your vice. Okay. So that's very good. Very good. Now, Tyler, Woo. Arnold, uh, uh, what? Let's look at their uh, look at look at their stuff at the very bottom. Uh, so, X mark XP if you address a challenge with violence or coercion. Uh, uh, what counts as a challenge? Because I killed that guy with the knife, and uh, I feel like I helped defuse a situation. Which guy or with the knife? I, I don't. Uh, that wasn't there that ghost that I stabbed. Oh with the right, knife you killed a ghost thing. with a knife. I honor, yes, yes. Yeah, and before that, I tried to use coercion. No, I didn't use coercion. I was gonna kill people, and I changed my mind last minute because I'm a coward. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were like, it's too easy to slit their throats a little drugged up. Yeah. So, I, this, there's no game in this. Well, let's, let's mark the one for the ghost. Uh, re okay. re killing slash fighting. I like that. Uh. Did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? I definitely think your heritage came up because, yeah, he was the guy was like definitely bigoted toward the Sklo, uh, Skullvanders. Um, yeah. But uh, what about your beliefs, drives, or or background? I want to say backing out at the last minute counts as a belief because I I strongly believe that you can't you shouldn't do that. But uh, that felt very on the spot. So I don't know if I want to count that. Right, it's but, up to you. Uh, tell me if you want to count that. I, I want to count it. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm a good guy at heart. I'm yeah. a heart of gold, but it's fool's gold. You peel it back, there's chocolate. Right, right, yeah. for you. And did you struggle your issues with your vice or trauma during the session? You don't currently don't have any trauma, and I don't think you particularly had any struggle with uh, smut last session. A poorly thought out plan because I was too busy thinking about. Uh, uh, you know, a sexy carapace bristling with nipples to like be focused on what would actually be functional. Or uh, be that's. Uh, I think it was just the poorly thought out plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think that you didn't. You didn't tell me during play that it was because that, that was that. <laughs> but uh, I like. I like where your head's at. All right. Um, okay, I'm just gonna turn down so the volume of this music just a tad. There we go. And turn it down on across the board before we start. Uh, yeah, so now done that. I don't think anyone leveled up, but uh, keep in mind while we we play a little bit um, that of course you have uh, your uh, your 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 pull, your your crew advancement. Uh, so keep in mind you. Mm -hmm. What, what you would want uh, so downtime uh, you get a couple you get two free downtime activities uh, and those include you can go uh, relieve stress by in trying to uh, figuring out your vice uh, one Okay, uh, well, one sec. Let's see. We did the payoff. Oh, let's do the heat first, actually. So, okay. Duskwells, City of Prying Eyes. Anything you might do is witness. There's always evidence left behind. Uh, so, the heat when they commit crimes after a score opponent. Your hero takes heat according to the nature. So, smooth and quiet, low exposure contained, standard exposure allowed and chaotic, high exposure wild, and devastating high exposure. So I think it's probably either smooth and quiet or contained. Yeah. What do you guys think it is? Uh, I think contained. It's not, like, it, it, there was like some potential for some real 
bad stuff. But yeah, there was a literally a ghost that manifested. The, the word might get out, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People, right? yeah. yeah. And something but... bad happened, but something yeah. almost happened, and people heard about it. Yeah, it was like exactly we contained it, but it wasn't that nothing happened. Like it wasn't like it was just chill. <laughs> All right, and this is uh, add one heat if the profile was high connected. So that I don't think that's true. Add heat if the situation happened on hostile turf. I they weren't hostile. They're just indifferent. Uh, add one heat if you're a war at another faction. You're almost at war with the lamplex, but not quite. Add one heat or add two heat if killing was involved. Uh, whether the crew did the killing or not, bodies draw attention. Killing was involved, but not with no bodies. So. Definitely, definitely no heat for that. Uh, so I think it's just two heat. Oop. And yeah, just to remind you that the only way to clear a wanted level is by sending one of your people or by sending someone to jail. So it could be uh, a score to, to try to like send someone, some one of your enemies to jail. Or it could be uh, one of you just want to play a different character and you send your character to jail for a month or two at level one. If it gets to level two wanted, you uh, it's going to be several months long and and so on and so on. If it gets to level four wanted, your character is just either going to be spend his life in jail or is going to be executed. Of course, <laughs> you can always try to... Can we uh, hire a cohort to send to jail? <laughs> uh, yeah, can we hire lookalikes? Probably not higher because those are temporary. But if you want to send, like, again, you can probably try to convince your friend to go to jail for you. Uh, I think any of your characters that go to jail, the ones on the outside, could probably start a long term project to try to get them out or get them a pardon. Uh, these sorts of things. Um, all right. And you can, you can always frame someone. You can always frame someone, of course. <laughs> this is true. Of course, there I mean, was who's really innocent. Uh, that was a previous word on the street was that there was someone in some blue coat and charter hall that uh, framed people <laughs> for pay. Okay. Uh, so you'd probably have to track them down and uh, do that, but uh, and then try to figure out how to get money out of it. Uh, so entanglements. Uh, so. Uh, after the each score, we find out which entanglement comes calling. So, oh right. We roll after payoff and heat. The GM rolls entanglement. So, I roll the number of dice equal to the wanted level. So I roll one dice. Uh, so I'm just going to I don't know roll engagement. No roll fortune. No. I'm gonna roll engagement, but I'm just gonna roll one day. How that works. Three. So you currently have two heat. So we go and look at this table, and a three is gang trouble and the usual suspects. <laughs> the wraiths? Yeah, it's or. The wraiths! Like gang trouble or the usual suspects? Yep. Uh, so the blue coat scabs someone in your periphery of your crew. So one player volunteers a friend or vice purveyor as the person most likely to be have taken. Wait, wait, wait. They're grabbing one of your friends. One of our friends? Or contacts. And they're going to question them. So which people? It could be a vice purveyor, could be a friend, could be a contact. Who's the most interesting person to get grabbed? Me! <laughs> Kevin, you asked me a friend. I'm your friend. You're in my crew. Okay, fine, we're not friends then. What if <laughs> only friend hasn't been involved in <laughs> yet? I don't think he works the best. Not good. Do you want Mercy to get yes, grabbed? Well. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I was going to say, should we include Petra, the city clerk, because we haven't seen her yet? Or... You can include her. I was just, it would be, we haven't hasn't done anything for us yet, so it would be a bit weird. Yeah. Like, what would they be pinching her for? Maybe she knows something off screen. 
She's been Maybe. secretly supplying us with documents to get a boat license. <laughs> Be the, could be the witch, could be Lydra, could be any one of your uh, vice purveyors, which means if you have stress, you'll have to get another vice purveyor, which might. Yeah. Or, you know what? I'm actually thinking Lydra, maybe, because that'd be the most interesting, just because she's most central to our operations. Lydra, the deal broker. Okay. Um. Maybe they finally caught on to the shenanigans she's giving us. Hey, let's see if uh, who wants to make a fortune roll. Well, no, that, that's not a. They're not a Pandora vice purveyor, right? So they they don't qualify. Oh, do they not qualify? They're not a Pandora oh, vice right, purveyor. Right, right. Oh, yeah. It's more personal. Not you can't screw uh, the gang okay. over. You have to screw yourself <laughs> over. <laughs> okay. Oh, can anyone think of like a cool idea? Or should we just go with whatever? Whatever you want. So like I said, I haven't even like talked to either my friend or my vice purveyor, so I don't know. I don't really know what I would volunteer. Volunteer now. <laughs> okay. Who volunteers? Their friend or vice purveyor? I'll volunteer. Who's which? Which one? Your friend or vice purveyor gets pinched? Uh, vi uh, I'm gonna say the vice purveyor. So Hegel Bogen, the Centurion Club, uh, he's probably either like a uh, seller of art or uh, someone who works the door, and he gets pinched. Uh, so make a fortune roll. Where is the fortune button? Uh, just under your friends. Ah, uh, ah, there we go. Number of dice. Uh, I believe a fortune roll... Uh, let's see. I think it's just probably zero, but let's double check that. Fortune roll. Probably 34. Yeah, probably just zero. Okay. It's going to roll two and take the lowest. So three probably means plus two. They talked. Uh oh. You gotta stop seeing that guy for smut. It's got I loose can't. Lips. I can't. You know, that loose lips are what I like. Too loose. Wait, oh, I was never. This is a different thing. Never mind. Yeah, so that's plus two heat to your gang. So he he talked, squealed. Mm. A squealer, eh? Yeah, Judas the squealer. Uh, only, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm sure he only repeated what Tyler's character was. Or about. or <laughs> you can pay one coin to pay, not get this two heat to pay off the blue coats. This is our cruise coin. Yeah. Guys, what do you think? Can we stand the heat, or do we got to get out of the kitchen? I think we got to get rid of some heat. Okay, so I'm gonna take this this two, and then I'm gonna take one out from your vault. Is that what I'm hearing? I can dig it. Okay, I'm doing it. I I, I did it. Put two heat two? away. Oh, okay. So you paid off. So didn't, he did squeal, but you managed to, you know, give him some money. He paid off the thing so to not, uh, you know. Did something. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so now... Now we'll talk about uh, downtime activities. Uh, of course, uh, your uh, purveyor of, of smut may or may not uh, be currently busy. <laughs> talking, mm -hmm. to the, talking to the blue coats. Um, or paying them off or what have you. But... Uh, uh, charnel, but uh, yeah, so you can try to acquire an asset. So you buy something, um, make a. I think you make a roll. Uh, you, you try to buy it. Uh, depending on how good your roll is, you might pay more money uh, to, to acquire it now, or you can try to look for try to acquire it again, but you get a bonus dice. Uh, you just do a long term project, either start a new one or 
do one you've already done. Uh, you can recover, you can reduce heat, you can train, or you can indulge a vice. Uh, recovering is sort of like a long-term project, but you need a doctor. Uh, so you would need to do the acquire asset action first. Uh, you can train, yeah, indulge a vice. Uh, or you can do anything else. Uh, so we're, we're going to do this. Last time we kind of did it more mechanically. I think this time I do want to do it a bit more kind of RP. So you you tell me what you want to do. We'll, I will sort of try to RP that person responsible for those things okay. uh, a bit more. You know, or we can talk about like what, what the asset looks like or what you're doing. Um, and of course, if you have anything else, you can even start trying to like figure out your next score now uh, and start asking questions. And you do you stuff during downtime activities to do that, or is that kind of something you do after? It's kind of just bleeds together. We're gonna when, when if when if you do an action that looks like a downtime activity, I'll I'll tell you and I'll ask if you want to that count as a downtime activity. Otherwise, it could just be you scalping out uh, a thing. Or if you want, you could start like, for example, a long-term project that's like case the museum or something, um, and, and like create your own opportunities that way. Right. Well, I can say what my goals are, and we can decide after that. Sure. I want to kill and reduce my stress. That's what I want to do this downtime. Yeah. I mean, my free actions are dedicated towards training resolve again and stress as well. Well, that would be nice to maybe start a long-term project of some kind. But... We have one to recruit a doctor. That's true. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to do that. Sure. Uh, so whoever wants to start, uh, just tell me what you're doing and we can start you can, you can either do one downtime activity each, or a downtime activity, and maybe a question well, about. Me and need to heal up. Still, you need um, to heal up. Do you, does the so... do you want to spend the coin to get that like bonus downtime activity to acquire the assets, so you still get your two free things, or? I not spend the coin later once I've spent my two. Yep. Yeah. So for now, I'm just gonna go um, try and acquire a physician. All right, so acquire an asset, a expert who is good. Or a physiker. Physiker. Yeah, so this, the, the scratch that I was given uh, in our first operation still hasn't healed and it's starting to concern me, so... I wrap it more tightly in a bandage and uh, uh, set off to the, you know, slightly more biz traffic streets of uh, Crowsfoot to find a physiker. Uh. All right. I think you roll your cruise tier to try to do that. Uh, is it going to be still that same guy? You're going to, like, try find find, uh, go to the doctor's office of... Uh, sure, yeah, we can go of, to the doctor. Or Charles Igmar. Try to acquire him. I believe because you did him before. Uh, you might be able to get an additional die. Yeah, if you acquire the same asset again, you get an additional die. So you have oh, one. Is one that not like I thought that was like if you try to do the same act downtime action again. Not if you've done it like ever. Uh, it says if you continually reacquire the asset every time it's used, you can effectively rent it indefinitely. So, mm. I think you can. I think it just counts. <laughs> okay, cool. You know, yeah, cool. you know where he lives, right? You, you've, you've, yeah, you've, you're going. Okay, I know where you live. I want to make sure that yeah. Okay, so I roll. What do I? Roll? Uh, so your cruise tier. Uh, I'm not sure if on your sheet or just click on the cruise sheet. Uh. Let me look. And one devote bonus dice because we're I'm reacquiring him. Yeah. Oh four. I believe that means that he is uh, going to bring his kind of standard 
uh, gear to, to, to help you. Uh, I think if you got a crit, uh, he, would, he would count as like plus one. Or uh, if you got a six, he might have been he might have counted as plus one. Sorry. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's based on our tier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's based on your tier, and but it's also based on your role. Okay, I got it. Um, yeah. So all he, right, pat me up, Doc. He's he says, "Oh, uh, you've, you've you've this this is uh." What, 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 what kind of entry was it again? It was a cut. He, he's treated it last time, but it hasn't healed. He's like, ah, oh, have you been changing the bandages again? Like I told you. I've been bleeding through. Uh, yeah, this might need some stitches or some leeching. But uh, let me see. And he goes into his... his uh, his gear. He goes into his kit and, uh, yeah, pulls out uh, his stuff. And let's roll your. I don't know. Did, where's the tier? How do you make the tier roll? Where's the button? Mm. I have fortune. I have engagements. Oh, if you click on tier. Oh, to click on tier. Excellent. Bonus dice. Zero. Uh, submit, I guess. One. One tick. Of your, of your healing sheet. I'm healed. Yay, so... Everything that you, like, all your stuff, uh, goes down by one. Um, so if it's a level two harm, it goes down to level one harm. If it's level one harm, it disappears entirely. Hey, my level one harm disappears entirely. It's good. This channel still has uh, this flesh wound. You concerned with healing that journal or? Yeah, all good. Uh, trying to think, where, what injuries do I have? Oh, I just my healing clock. Yeah, I wouldn't mind healing. Oh, well, he's here, so you may as well patch me up, Doc. I'm. Um, what kind of yours is a flesh wound? I believe that was in response to like a, the knife fight that you got up on uh, the up the up top. Um. And it was going to be like a big savage cut or something, and you'd be used your armor to reduce it. Uh, mm. So he, he's like it's inspecting your stuff, and he says, "So oh, this cut looks nasty. Where did you get it?" Uh, from a from a guy. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he kind of like grimaces Trust and sh me. shakes his head, and he says, oh, "Well, hopefully you gave as good as you got." And let's see what I you roll. Boom, no, one gave, one. no one gave Te me this flesh wound. I had to fight for it. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> Only one tick of the clock gets filled. Boop. Oh no. Um, okay. We can just roll for recovery. We can just roll for recovery on our own feet. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Fine, I'll let you do it, but just so you know for the future. Okay, thank you. We, I feel like it's easier for us to do it because we're doing it anyway. Okay, yeah. Excellent. Uh... <laughs> you re if you click the little bell above your arm, you can show everyone what harms you have. Okay. I have none now. I am healed. But... Okay. Uh, yeah. So he, you know, you've 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 paid for him wow. to be here. Uh, try to be a more asset uh, for the for the team. Uh, so he'll he'll heal. Uh, if you spend more downtime actions here uh or you can go recover stress or what have you uh what is sly doing during this this time that they're getting like patched up probably sly is gonna go seek out the business of father yorin <laughs> so father yorin is a i believe a uh yeah he operates the House of the Weeping, 
and uh, Weeping Lady, and it's sort of like a charity uh, kind of think soup kitchen oh, slash uh, slash orphanage slash like church. Uh, and he, uh, you know, you, you come and you knock at like the back door and he opens it because he was expecting you. He says, <laughs> Welcome, Sly. Nice to see you again. Have you? Yes, yes. Have you given any thought to what we discussed last time? I think he gave you some sort of offer to. Can't recall the specifics. Do you remember the specifics? Oh, shoot. No, I don't. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, right. He wanted, like, your help in, like, doing some sort of demon thing. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. What was that again? That's sounding familiar, actually. I think it was, like... Basically, I was trying to use him as a... I think it was, to, like, yeah, he'll, like, help you uh, develop uh, some sort of demon ritual, summoning ritual. Uh, and, yeah, basically a new a new, uh, a new new ritual. Was, okay. You wanted to learn one, um, but he would he would give you some dye to help you out. Um, okay. I'm always looking for uh, opportunities. Uh, he says, uh, "Are you are you here to?" Uh, he kind of like ship that gives you a little bit of shifty eye action. Uh, take take your room on the in the tower. Yes. And I have decided that I will entertain your offer. Ah, uh, you see, he gives you like a weird, creepy smile, and he's like, "Excellent. <laughs> we have much to do, much to do, much to prepare." <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, are you? Uh, sounds like you're uh, trying to indulge your vice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up to my room. Prepare my pentagram, <laughs> spill a bit of my blood, and uh, prepare to leave this mortal realm because it's too much for my soul. You sound like such a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what soul purging is, but it definitely mm. sounds dangerous. So you yes. drink a lot of prune juice. That's where. Uh... So you currently have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stress. Mm hmm. So I do believe you roll your dice and uh, it'll roll probably one die mm -hmm. and that will uh, basically clear the stress of that die roll. Okay. So I'm going to kneel down and almost kind of pray and it doesn't take long till my body gets cold and my breathing stops. And I'm still for probably about four or five minutes. Three. One, two, three. There we go. Cool. And then uh, after a few moments, I kind of start to wheeze and cough. And then I hack up some blood. <laughs> and Father Jordan probably steps in to like get me as I start to slouch over. And um, I'm going to kind of become cogent again and come to... Yeah, he comes, he like offers you some like sort of tea, but like it might not even be tea. It might just be like a weak soup broth with no nothing in it. He's like, for the constitution. <laughs> I, Thank you. <laughs> I know how much this could take out on a person. Oh. Soup is exactly what I need right now. <laughs> it's like kind of like almost like curls into a ball and gently takes the soup. He, 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 um, he gives you a nod and he says uh, so I've been making uh, making discoveries there's and he, he kind of goes on and starts going into some some details on on summoning like uh, mm. things it's like must make a sacrifice and and other things and uh, but which I'll, I'll leave open ended because uh, whenever you you know make a make a ritual, uh, you you kind of follow a procedure. Okay. Talk about it. 
<laughs> but he goes on describing what he would think that it would be be cool to like actually summon a demon through their uh, element, for example, like okay. starting a big bonfire and summoning a demon in the flesh to like through you through the fire or something like that. Right. Instead of through a person. Yeah, because you you currently like summon them into people, sort of mm-hmm. like ghosts, but not quite. Um, but he is offering them like to summon them. Uh, yeah, which of course is would be it's something totally different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, possibly really cool. more dangerous. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so in the meantime, um. I believe uh, Red has done all his actions. He did the acquire asset and he tried to heal. Mm. Uh, what she come oh, she uh, did. Uh, so what is this? What does Red go out into the city and uh, spend some coin trying to? Uh... I did. Sorry, I, uh, you. I couldn't hear what you're saying. Tyler, want to do his other free action first? Ah. Charnel, what do you want to do? I think I'm going to try and relieve my stress again. I want to see what happened with my vice purveyor. Okay, yeah, when you go there and you you try to like, you know, get a get your contact and he's uh not there. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> my actions you... are consequences. <laughs> do you talk to someone else in uh at uh, the Centria Club? Or do you, uh, or do you go somewhere else to try to 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 do your vice, or do you leave it? I can try and go somewhere else. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere else for this. I feel like uh, if he's not there, I'm not gonna bother anybody. I don't want to wear my welcome out. Okay. Um. Well, uh, it might not be smut, <laughs> but it's definitely luxurious and uh, definitely you could do your uh, weird peeping at a bathhouse in Crowsfoot <laughs> or you can oh God. perhaps go to a, a theater. Uh, that's, uh, I'll go to a the theater. I'm not going to peep in a bathhouse. That's... Okay. I, I'm a criminal, but I'm respectful. Okay, so maybe you're going to like a burlesque show. Yes. In uh, in White Crown, the very fanciest of burlesque shows. Ooh. Um, and uh, I want to see this one. The life cycle of a tree sounds very erotic. We'll <laughs> we'll see how this 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 roll goes. Uh, so if you know if you roll good, you might gain a, a different vice purveyor that you can go see on occasion or if you roll terribly or you overindulge uh so if you ro- roll too much you might overindulge and uh oh, no. there's there's options so uh on, on one two or three you're good on four five and six you overindulge oh no i've overindulged so you overindulge so you i was clapping too hard and hooting Essentially, um, you tell me what your overindulging looks like. Do you I, I... attract trouble? Do you brag? Do you go on a bender and are just not available for next session? You'll have to make a new gonna... new gang, <laughs> a new a I'm new, a new a you're going on a bender. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna play a different. You're gonna make a new character and play a different character. Because your character is now lost in their vice. I'm lost looking at burlesque shows. I'm just fucking hooting and hollering. But uh, so, but uh, so your stress will be cleared, and but and also when you come back, all your harm uh, is cleared. Uh, once you come back, but uh, until then, you're spending all your time at uh, the burlesque show in. Uh, in in a, in a in Spindle Garden Theater. Oh my god! Uh, in what White does that Crown. Look like, how do you overindulge on going to a fucking peep show? 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Don't what this I I roll out of bed. I sleep eighteen hours. I eat a bunch of hot dogs, and I just we just wander on over to the show and come home. <laughs> come home you're like talking to some of the like the girls uh they're like you're getting to know their names and, <laughs> and stuff and like the oh. and the men and all that like all, you're just like really trying to take it all in <laughs> this oh this over this over familiar playfulness with strangers is not welcome <laughs> uh yeah but they'll they'll take your coin or whatever like the the, the non-abstract coin the the money that you you know pay them um with your wage uh but it's not gonna affect anything um but uh yeah so you're done <laughs> you're gonna make a new character maybe we'll do that uh, at the end of the session or right. what have you so now uh, i'm out it's great <laughs> <laughs> yeah um well i guess you can't find your charnel uh because he is he's just missing now. he's missing i'm his identical brother with a slightly different name <laughs> Uh, he's the same character sheet. <laughs> no, you gotta make a new one. Make a new yeah. one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what does Sly do? Uh, I guess you've uh, you've done your things and you've healed up. Uh, yeah, so I did the vice. Um, if I am curious about developing that ritual with Father Yorin, is that like a downtime activity? Or like yeah, that would be uh, that would be starting a, a, a long term project. Okay. To learn a new ritual. Yeah, I would like to do that and also train my resolve. Okay, yep, there's plenty of, of coin, so you, you can spend coin, one coin per downtown activity. Okay. Uh, so what is, uh, what is, what is, what do you see like you and Father you are in doing? I think he's, yeah, prepared something like probably like a brazier or like a um, depending on what kind of of, of uh, demon you summon, maybe because I think there's like earth, fire, water, and mm -hmm. that might be it. There might be something with wind, but I'm not 100 sure. Yeah, well, I imagine at this point because this is early on in the project, right? So I imagine yeah. we're honestly probably just like researching and going through libraries and reading some of the texts he has. Okay, yeah. So and it might be kind of sorry. So he probably like brings out like a big like book that he like this is what like spurred him on. He's gonna yeah. start sharing some of the beginning research project, like bring the beginning research, beginning literature. Re He's gonna do a literature review with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll kind of talk about like my previous like knowledge from over in and uh, in, um, Tikaros. Or how do you say it? I think it's like Tikaros, yeah. Tychoros, yeah. yeah, over in Tychoros. So kind of being like, you know, this is how, what I know about demons and how they function and like ways that we might be able to like interact with them and how we could actually make this work, like summoning a demon into its element or like associated yeah. substance. Like, right. okay. Yeah, that's a cool. I was going to tell you uh, just some things that you might know about demons is that they don't have souls. <laughs> okay. they, they're they're bound, so they don't they're not when you kill a demon, they're not echoed in the like ghost field. Uh, so like demons are very much present <laughs> in the in reality i guess okay. uh more so than people but like it's right. like in in a weird way because like if you kill a person they're echoed in the ghost field and they can either like live on as a ghost or you know a spirit and mm -hmm. or or there's like their past actions and routines might just manifest um or something like that but yeah mm -hmm. demons don't uh then they usually even the human like ones are have have some tie to like an element yeah and okay. and they can like teleport through these elements and like talk through them scry through them um but like the how far they go and what the power they they possess is like proportional to yeah their their like power as a demon Right. Uh, additionally, like there's, I guess those are the kind of known demons. Like the like like, and there's they're few and far between. Um, but there's also the Viathans, which are these huge like hulking creatures that they don't really. They like these big like huge like warships go out and like you know like hundreds of harpoons like like get them and they pull out like a tentacle and they start draining the blood out of it uh before it like it like whips them and like uh you know tries to sink boats 
uh, and they don't really get the full picture of what's what's what these beasts are but um oh okay so they don't slay them they just like try to like bleed them and then run away yeah they they might kill some of them but they definitely just uh yeah they 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 hunt them and yeah they, they bleed them and they're like more okay. wild and they don't really they're more like forces of nature okay unknowable uh but yeah so that's the thing um i thinking uh let's just make this a six thing clock because why not <laughs> sure i think usually it's like eight but uh i don't know let's just make it six it's, it's you, you you're 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 doing your character's thing it's like the care thing you do as a character should be easier That's for you. Good. Sure. I'll take it. Uh, developing ritual of summoning with Father Yorin. And Father Yorin gave along pretty well. Cool. You so you tell me which action you try to do uh, with uh, with like what action? Kind of the mere methodology of like things that might. You might have described what looked like a study, but it's, I was gonna it's, say, it's up yeah, to you. And think... uh, you get a bonus dice because you aren't helping. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think study is good. That's kind of what we're doing at this point. So. Okay. Uh, is there a certain position or anything like that? Or no, no. It's just, or it could be controlled and standard effect, I guess. Okay. Sure. Default, or that's not a default, but nothing too bad is gonna happen. I don't think. Okay. Or maybe I should make it risky, but ah, it's too late. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reading uh, about demons. Yeah, maybe it is risky. Maybe I <laughs> would go insane. It's, it's, maybe it's risky because uh, people people know. Um, mm, or, or that. That's a good point. Because you don't have a workshop. Uh, mm. Okay. Um, I think that's two ticks. And... Um, I know I said it's controlled, but maybe I do want to make it risky. Uh, sure. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mark up that Satara search for Sly. I'm just gonna excellent. Cl click one up. It's now half full. <laughs> By the way, uh, I see. I've been I've been marking <laughs> it up. So if you don't do any actions to try to like be hidden or put oh, that okay. keep that okay. down, it's gonna okay. slowly so, fill so I up. Can do actions to keep it down. Okay, I'll think about that. Um, been slowly, slowly filling. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, so that's like I think that's all your free stuff. That's my, yeah. Uh, does Red want to do anything else? Do you want to? Yeah. I mean, I definitely want to indulge in my advice. Um, I was also wondering if I should try and progress the we the doctor thing. Hmm. That'll be nice to have eventually. How much coin do we still have? We still have a bunch. Yeah, I think you have eight a bit. or seven or something. Seven, it seems, yeah. When can we, like, when does that cut off happen? Like, we have to put the rest in the stash. Uh, so if you, at the end of, like, this session, I guess the beginning of the next score, um, right. you better have less than four, or, or these ones will, should well, be going seven, into your right? stash. We need to be spending it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then in that case, I'll probably do both of those things. Uh, I will indulge my vice. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to try and uh, make Charles uh, Ingmar a contact first, in case something happens to me. Okay, what uh, skill are you using to try to make him a contact? I'm going to use consort. Okay, so what does that look like? Because he's probably like... He's probably like done bandaging you up, and he's changed your your wounds on your on and ever, and like cleaning your wound. It's probably like a, like he probably comes over like the next couple of days to like change their wounds just to make sure everything's good because you you know you fired him. Well, uh, yeah, I was gonna say I, I uh, talk with him, and uh, maybe he knows. Like I said, being a doctor, he he knows a wide variety of people, so I chat with him about his clientele, and I say you know, and I say you know. My parents were traders, and uh, so we know a lot of people in the neighborhood. And you know, I'm just trying to you know, talk to him and get to know him better, and say, you know, try and convince him that I'm an affable and uh, friendly guy. 
He's like, okay. And so he's like, oh, yes. You're, I think like, you're, the- he's like, it's like finally inspecting your wound. He's like, it looks like it's uh, going well. Uh, the treatment's been working. The, the, the leeches have pulled the bad blood out. Uh, and um, yeah, if you, you ever, uh, yeah, if you, you seem, you, you mentioned that you've known some people, uh, if they're ever in trouble, uh, you can send them to my office. I'll be sure to do so, Doc. And you know, uh, it's it's hard to find a trusty physiker in this place. So we're glad to have you around. Says, I'm glad to be around. It's always it's always uh, nice to have a reliable patient <laughs> patient supply. And he kind of smiles and laughs to himself because, uh, yeah. My position. Uh, position probably control. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't be too bad. I don't think. Not too risky to try to be his friend. Yep. Okay. Standard effect. Here we go. Six. That's three ticks, I believe. Ooh. Boop. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I want you in my room. Yeah, you go and you you know you're talking and yeah, he like you know starts to. You know, you're one of like a joke you made, like really cracks him up and he laughs and he's like has to take his glasses off and like he's rubbing his eyes and clean, <laughs> cleans his glasses and he says, uh, uh, if you ever, um, if you ever in town, uh, or not ever in town, but if you ever, you know, boat this way up and, uh, don't, don't need to, uh, don't, aren't, aren't in need of the physiker, you could still come and chat. Always nice to have, uh, be happy to. It's always nice to have a contact in uh, these sorts of things. All right. Having spent, having done that, feeling uh, healed and um, restored to physical health, I feel that my body is uh, ready to indulge in the uh, orgiastic pleasures of uh, <laughs> the uh, worship of the Lady of Thorns. All right. Just be- so before out- before that, uh, like yeah. Um, Charles, the like the the physicist, says, uh, "If you um, if you ever have um, extra medicine, of course I could move it uh, in my pharmacy." And he, he just kind of like lets it hang, and the uh, and, and he like nods. <laughs> Nod. Okay. I have always thought that uh, our product had a certain medicinal benefits. It is, I've, so I've heard, so I've heard. Alright. So yes, as I said before, uh, I feel mentally prepared to uh, indulge in the uh, orgiastic consumption of a night uh, in Orridge. Oh, I make my way out there. Yeah, so Coleridge is probably like one of the older neighborhoods. Uh, it's it used to be where the probably mine for the coal used was was way before like a thousand years ago, and probably they they're deep in 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 the uh, deep in the hills and of of Coleridge. Um, and, but it's mainly the poor. Uh, but there's like other ruins in the lake. In that neighborhood, overgrown and uh, dilapidated. It's in one such ruins that you meet your contact. Uh, Illisil. Illisil. Uh, she's, you know, dressed in uh, probably like big, like a big black uh, robe and a, a wine, uh, a fine kind of wine colored mask that has, has like little like feathers along the top and she's she 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 meets you and she she greets you is welcome is is, is is will it be pleasure or pain <laughs> she kind of gives you like this like like kind of alluring smile i've been coming here for a while I've been coming here for a while, still. I think you know me well enough when I say, and I like, I like scrape off like a, an old, uh, old like 
a, an old like stone altar, and on underneath is like an engraved rose, uh, where like someone is gripping the rose, and like there's blood running down their palms. I say, as you know me well, you know the answer is both. <laughs> and she's, and, and, you know, she was, she was like expecting that to be the answer, and she's of course, of course. Um. We will, uh, 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 you know, you know we'll, the we'll festivities will, of course, begin shortly. You always arrive on time. Uh, and then you, like, yeah, get let off into, like, a grove or whatever where some weird stuff's happening. <laughs> off, off, <laughs> where they, where they make their religious sacrament, I guess. <laughs> quote, I guess, air quotes. Thorn is my... Daddy. Yeah, the Lady of Thorns. Yeah, uh, great. Uh, you make your uh, make your roll. Three. Oh yeah. Three. So you click off three. Uh, three of those stress. <laughs> and. Uh, I like late into the night, like after you've you've you know spent. Um, you're still feeling a bit stressed, but no, yeah, it's definitely it has relieved some of some of the burden. And as you're like leaving, yeah, like Ilsil comes. Now she's like, still has the mask on, but she's yeah dressed in like like a leather uh, corset or whatever. And you know she's like, she like she has like some blood on her like arms from like other people probably. <laughs> like little like spatter of blood um like and then uh so she she meets you and she says um yes there's been a number of uh new initiates uh coming in it would of course uh, you know behoove you to play nice and um get to know them better i I, th I hear they've come from uh, from brightstone and like brightstone's like kind of like um up like a more more or more or less like middle to high nobility kind of area of the neighborhoods so they're they're like pretty high up yeah i grin and i say oh you think they'd uh, associate with a degenerate like myself <laughs> Well, they're here to pray to the Lady of Thorns, so kind of shrugs. Perhaps they're more degenerate <laughs> in private than uh, than than they they would lead to you believe. I have a hunch that you're right, or at least in private. Uh, but of course, we all we all try to keep our our. Uh, we all have our yeah. She made something like we all have our secrets or something like that. So she's so she's she's saying like yeah. She's like kind of willing to make some sort of introduction um, like outside of outside of this. Uh, but uh, she'll leave that to you at your discretion. Interesting. So, uh, what is Sly doing to, uh, to, uh, make, uh, maybe like, you know, like do, how do you train? Like, how do you train your resolve? Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Yeah, I'm going to go back to the boat, actually. I have a little area set up. Um, it's not quite a workshop level yet, but it's, it's like my personal quarters. And I have some, um, inks and some dyes and a few more potions and tinctures, things like that. And I'm going to go and um, just seek out spirits and basically have them come and challenge me. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. And, uh, yeah. So I'm kind of just out there to be like, you know, what what goes through in the area. Um, I've obviously got, like, the area warded, but at the same time, I'm sort of, like, just testing myself and testing them to see um, how strong my mind really is. So I'm like, 
playing mental arm wrestling with all the spirits out there. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, I think you just mark it off. Um, you get two two ticks, Ooh. and you can immediately send that to advance one of your pips and take one one pip. I'll take a pip of a tune. Excellent. Uh, tune in all the time. <laughs> There's like one particular ghost, like a ghost of like an old lady. She like is like she starts like following you a little bit. You get called out to her and she didn't really answer, but she you saw her and like she was standing there and you didn't really tell that she was a ghost right away until like a horse like went through a horse, but like a carriage with goats or whatever, like went through mm. her and then she like disappeared and then like eventually like you were like leaving the area that you were doing this in you like see like in like a window the reflection she's like standing behind you and you like turn she isn't there <laughs> but uh yeah she's 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 looking at you and you could like okay. swear like at one time like you were like you like you see her like you like you in like the the mirror or something like somewhere else uh while you're walking down the street you can kind of like swear she like she, like mouths the name like Jonathan Timbleburn, like very silently. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, but okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, that's that's that. Uh, that was one one coin, right? Right. That's right. Spinning coin for that. Now. That is you had you had seven. Now you then. Chris did a thing and you did a thing, so now you have yeah. five. Five, excellent. Uh, all right. Uh, I made a new character uh, called Tyler's second character that we'll have to deal with. Excellent. So Tyler, <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you want? Uh, what kind of character do you want to play? As, as you're like another gang member. Uh, Mystic Shaman. Mystic Shaman. Well, I think uh, currently we have that uh, covered by Andrew's type character. Uh, I think I think your character should clash. No, no, it shouldn't. You can well, you can play a different kind of whisper if you're really set on being a whisper. Yeah, I gotta double check like what kind of things there are. Cause I'm on the SRD and I I don't know if I just can't read or not, but I can't find the things. Okay, there, there's the cutter. There's a dangerous and intimidating fighter. There's the hound. Uh, so the cutter is what uh, Charnel is. There's a hound, a deadly sharpshooter, and tracker. I'm gonna turn down the. Ooh, volume. give me spider. Give me spider. I wanna be that. You wanna be a spider? Give me spider. Yeah, yeah. So a spider is a devious mastermind. Sure. No. All right. So the brains the operation. Here is your character. Boom. I think everyone can see it. Uh, in the playbook. This right spider. Click enter, and then it auto fills some of the things. Ooh, I like that. So. Uh, of course, now you could choose your heritage, so you can be Akaros, uh, which is kind of like a I'm member of the Imperium. You can be Dagger Isles. I'm going Dagger Isles. Dagger Isles. Okay, those uh, are those are rootless wanderers who live in like ruins without uh, lightning barriers, dealing with spirits in their own way. Hmm. Uh, now you choose a background, so academic, labor, law, trade, military, noble, or underworld. Let's go underworld. Underworld, were you a street urchin, a gang member, a young thug, or an outcast who grew up on the streets? I can go outcast who grew up on the streets. All right, so write that in to the, uh, write that in. Uh, next underworld. Yeah, you can, I think you can double click and edit it and just like add that in that you're underworld, outcast group on the streets. Okay. Now you have uh, four action dots. 
you can assign uh, one action dot in any ac any of the actions that you feel represent your character's heritage. So what does it mean to be uh, a Dagger's Isles individual? And what is Dagger's Isles again? I just like the name of it. They're like wanderers. They they are. Hold on a sec. It's on the pack, next page. So yeah, they're they're rootless wanderers. Uh, they grew up on ships and travel a lot before settling down. They're known as corsairs and merchants who live without lightning barriers, dealing with the spirits in their own way. You're a gypsy. Let's not let's not say words we can't take back. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Well, that's a contentious name. Yeah, don't you mean Romani? Yeah. Sure. You're a traveling thingamajig. Yeah. Yeah, so what, is that, what does that mean to you, uh, Tyler? Uh, I can wreck shit and I like prowling. Okay, so you just put one action dot in. Oh, okay. Yeah, only one. Not on both, just, yeah, just one. And now, okay. what does you put one action dot that you ref feel that reflects your character's background? So, being an outcast on the streets, where do you you've learned to wreck stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I messed up. I just put like two dots there. Okay. So what was the first one again? I I jumped ahead of the gun. What represented your heritage, and the other one represented your background. Uh, okay. I'm gonna say if I can say prowl because I'm of a nomadic people. And I'm gonna say survey. So I'm on the outskirts. I look inwards, see all. Okay, cool. And now you have two more action dots that you can place anywhere up to a, but you can't place them because uh, you have current maximum of two as a new character. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put one in prowl, and I'm gonna put one in finesse. All right. Okay. And now you choose a special ability for your character. So it could be uh, foresight, calculating, connected, ghost contract, jailbird, mastermind, weaving the web. But, uh, why is there all here? I feel like it repeated somehow. It does. Yeah, that for my character sheet as well. Oh. Um, Weird. Yeah, not sure why. It's not a big deal. I just have to know that it repeats. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go foresight. Okay. So two terms per score, you can assist a teammate without paying stress. Tell us how you prepared for this. So I think, yeah, when you when you activate that, you just tell us how you, the spider, have prepared. Um, You're all in my web. Okay, so I think this is a thing that we didn't do last time, but it's called special armor. I don't know if you get it immediately. Uh, but as a tick box, it says special. Uh, tick box, it says special? Yeah, so if you have any abilities that use your special armor, you can activate them. And if you don't have any special abilities that use special armor, then you can't use that armor box at all. So I think one of your abilities is probably going to refer to special armor. This is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, I didn't really tell you, uh, I didn't really go over this uh, with, when the character creation uh, with uh, our first set of characters. But for example, um, it, with with the lurk, you could take a special armor that I believe resists detection. So you'd be like, you're detected. You'd be like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not detected. I'm I am I am hidden actually. And then you you click the special armor, uh, and you can you now can like resist other things other than like harm and stuff, which is very interesting. So now you choose one 
Uh, ooh, this, is, this also repeats with the uh, value of the information. Yeah. There you go. So, Salia, the information broker, uh, Argus, the master architect, Jenna, a servant, Riven, a, a chemist, or Jaren, a blue coat archivist. Uh, so, choose one that's your friend and one that's a rival. Mm. So Argus is my friend. And I'm going to say Riven is my enemy. Okay. And now choose your vice. Uh, faith, gambling, luxury, obligation, pleasure, stupor, or weird. I'm gonna go gambling. Gambling. Uh, you crave games, games of chance, betting, or sporting events. So, choose a vice. Yeah, we choose our vice purveyor. Uh, so you could be Part of Spog's dice game, you could be Gris the Gris's seeing doing bo seeing boxing on the docks, uh, betting on boxing. You could be at uh, you could go to Helen at the Silver Stag Casino at Silkshore. You could see Master Vryn. Uh, he races hounds in Night Market. Go to Lady Dusk the the fancy club in. White Crown called the Dusk Manor Club. They probably play cards and bet and that sort of thing. Or you can do I uh, that one. I so, know that one just because it's sorry, go on. Or you could do like Sergeant Velik, the Fighting Pits and Dunslow. I'm gonna go with Lady Dusk because I feel like I can play Mahjong there. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, you probably can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> probably maybe that's what they play there. The yeah, late Lady Dusk, which Mahjong. is the Dusk Manor Club. In uh, in White Crown, so that's like very rich people. Uh, uh, okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Oh, Duck Manor, not Dusk Manor. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then you choose a look. Um, stupid hot. Stupid hot. There uh, we go. No, I'm not going to do that, please. Is there a... I forgot what the thing for the list was. So, looks are... Uh, you basically be a man, woman, ambiguous, concealed. That's how you would look. Could be... Uh, then you, there's like a description. Like, uh, affailable, athletic, bony, bright, brooding, calm, chiseled, cold, dark, delicate, fair, fierce, grimy, handsome, huge, hunched, languid, lovely, open, plump round sad scarred slim soft squat stern stout striking twitchy weathered weary or worn and then you can kind of like there's a, like a list of like um clothing also hmm. and you can go androgynous and stocky with an owl's face okay and do you want like clothing you could be like uh, a scavenged uniform or like a knitted sweater. You could be wearing leathers, a long coat, heavy coat, uh, tall boots, a waistcoat. I'm going to say a mishmash and a mishmash so good that no one can tell what my true allegiance is. I, <laughs> I pick off what I from people that uh, I've encountered. Okay. So a mishmash of... of uh... Like people think he's a red sash and also the other group. That's the dark blacks, lamp blacks, lamp blacks. Sorry. They are they are former lamplighter skilled. Yeah, so you who, can't uh, tell who I am. They they are a lot of their job lists as the streets have turned from lamps to uh, electric lights. Mm. I can say dirty clothes. So dirt probably so stolen. <laughs> scavenged uh, scavenged clothing. Yeah. Upcycle. Cool. Uh, Upcycle. <laughs> uh, then you pick your name, alias, and then yeah, that's it. My alias just as a placeholder. I put philodendron, but I'm probably gonna change that. Philodendron. Uh, yeah. So you can either 
um, have names or whatever. I think I made a rollable table. Both names. Here, I'll roll it a couple times. There. Ooh. Uh, I think that's the people's first names. There's other last names or something, but uh, any alias like Bell, Birch, Bricks, Bug, Chime, Coil, Cricket, Cross, Crow, Echo, Flint, Frog, Frost, Grip, Gunner, Hammer, Hook, a uh, bunch of anything so you can make up your own. Arcos Jilm. That's my name. Arcos Jilm. Yeah. What is a Philotrendron? A phylodendron is a house plant. Oh, okay. Hmm. Your alias could be plant. <laughs> no, that no, that makes it sound like I'm a plant. Like I, you don't want me there. Like, yeah. I'm looking could, for somebody else. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Could be you could be uh no, you could be house plant. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jonathan Snitch. <laughs> Excellent. My my name is Jonathan Snitchenbacher. Yeah, I want to get I want to get pinched on my first day. Ah, uh, see, let me think of a good handle. My, my alias is Blue Coat Spy. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Judas for short. All right, uh, I think you're good and ready. Um, to, Ooh, uh, uh, never mind. That's you, my alias. Jump in. Never mind. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. You have a new character uh, that you will be playing in the upcoming score. Um, talking about the upcoming score. Uh, does anyone have any particular idea what they they want the crew to do next? Mm. Tried to. I'm new to, the, or, I'm new to the team. I just want to win. Tried to put some hooks in there. Of course, if you want to just go like looking about, we can try a look. Uh, look, I think I also did. I. I'm not sure if I made a random table. No, I didn't make a random table. I'd like to play through our relationship with the red sashes a bit more. Okay, yeah, the red sashes are currently at war. And um, yeah, 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 there's like two things I want to actually cover. Is that like, you know, you, 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 uh, occasionally you'll be dropping off, uh, dropping off your, your, uh, you know, drugs to them. They pick them up at the docks. Um, but probably once or twice in the past couple weeks, they just weren't there. And uh, they, 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 they blame the, uh, the lamp blacks for uh, interfering. Um, and they're so for like your protection and theirs, they, they miss the, the thing and like, you know, you'd pull up and you would be expecting them and no one's there. You just kind of like drift by on by like you're just a boat on the harbor. Um, hmm. And they're, yeah, they're blaming the lamp blacks. They're putting pressure on them uh, to, uh, to, uh, do we try and figure out a way to end the war? I mean, I don't know. I personally just want to get closer with the red sashes, but I don't want to bring ourselves into a war also, right? So. Well, if we end the war that they're currently losing, that would probably be good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that would be a useful, uh, useful action on our part. Uh, ending the war, uh, probably. I mean, there's probably been like numerous deaths on both sides at this point. Like. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the lamp blacks themselves have probably killed like half of the current red sashes. 
So they're wow. they're okay. currently embroiled in a war, and if you were to become better friends than you are currently with them, they would expect you to join the war with them and fight. So if you did that now, you would definitely become better friends. Uh, yeah. The uh, the red sashes themselves have you know dealt uh, dealt some blows, and you've you've also have hindered the. The lamp blacks in recent recent times. Uh, That's true. So uh, you could uh, go. That's what I'm saying like we could we could try and do something to build some points of power in the red sash's favor. Yeah, and I think we should because if they've killed half the red sashes, <laughs> like we're gonna have allies to deal with if they're all dead, right? We got to hit the lamp blacks where they're weak. Because they, they they don't know that like. We're as close as we are with them yet. Although they, they hate us, so they're not gonna they're gonna be wary of us regardless. Yeah. And if we put if we the problem is it, if we get dragged into a war, like that might just be just as bad. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's always the question of who you're being paid by and how much and by whom. Uh so if you were willing to like go to war, you'd probably want to meet with the, uh, or have a meeting with the Red Sash leader. Uh, do you want to have that meeting, or <laughs> or do you hear their offer? I think we should do that, yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Okay, uh, so the- Because we got a spider uh, coming our way next session, so seems like it would be a good time to do a diplomatic session. No, no, I mean, like, do you want to have that meeting now <laughs> before we end? Oh, yeah. Before you decide to actually, you know, whether or not you want to take on their, uh, their allegiances. So the Red Sash is leader is Melera Clev. Uh, they are, um, or she's a, uh, sh known as being ruthless, but very educated. She probably, like, takes her, her, most of her meetings and like probably like the, re the academy at in a charter hall where they, they they do their like they have like a kind of semi-formal um formal academy where they train um it seems there seems to be like a lot of activity there um but yeah melios uh you know gets you through the door because you, you have connections and because you you said you you know, there, there's, there's been rumors that they've, they've, they've wanting to gather gangs and crews to try to, to, uh, basically divvy up Crow's Foot and push out the Lamp Blacks. Mm. Um. So yeah, you, you've, you, you know, enter a meeting and there's probably like a number of, um, uh, a number of, of like bodyguards and. And such uh, in the halls, um, but when you like, yeah, you enter. Uh, there's probably just a Mirla Kalev at a, um, a very lavished uh, office. Uh, it's a large kind of like open space that you like have to walk through, uh, and then on the far side there is a um, yeah, like a desk and and chairs. Uh, they're very yeah like very ornate chairs and on the walls on both sides are like hung uh, large huge paintings uh and she says uh, i've i've been wanting to meet with you you've been moving product in my my spot and you've been making us quite rich i think it's always nice to meet the new friends our pleasure. We enjoy making you rich, and ourselves as well in the process. <laughs> yes, we are very happy about this. Of course, I am currently looking for allies, not friends. I've 
sworn vendetta against the Lamp Blacks. You are either with me or against me in this matter. I give a giant grin. <laughs> oh, we're with you. She smiles. It's excellent. Excellent. And of course, with your connections and your product, we were allies. Like, we can work on an arrangement and I can get you meetings with higher ups. You know, if you know the bodyguard of the person. Of course, you can meet that person whenever you want. Mm. The, the Aruvian Consulate, I have a couple of bodyguards in place. So, it's more a matter of who my allies are. <laughs> she kind of like laughs at, uh, laughs at her own uh, like joke, but it wasn't really a joke. <laughs> it's like starts laughing and stops laughing. Yeah. So, what were you thinking to do? They've they are mostly in uh, and and when <laughs> she's like smiles, I we might be able to offer some assistance, but. Depends on your plan. Or do you work alone? Uh, I mean... Ideally, we would just work to stop the loss of Red Sash life. So, whether that means having the Lamp Black surrender, or just actively protecting them um, through, like, fighting. <laughs> I think either one works for us. So uh, yeah, Red is like clearly displeased with the direction these talks are taking. He like shifts uh, okay. his seat. Sly so will pick up on that and kind of be like, "Something wrong, Red?" He doesn't say anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna have this conversation in front of uh, the lead <laughs> Red Shashes. Okay, fair enough. She says, she says, well, you, uh, you tell me what, uh, you want, what you do, but if you strike a blow against them, there is always money in the war chest. I've powerful friends and they come in use. Um, I'll let you think on that. Uh, excellent. And then, and then like yeah like someone someone comes in like a servant and they they give you they pour you like a little like uh like thimble of like liquid and then she like cheers and like you take it it's like very potent excellent like it's like very potent and like sour tasting alcohol um but uh yeah and, and like uh you, you go on your way uh, just because you, <laughs> it seems like you guys wanted to have a conversation with, uh, without, uh, you know, drumming up the details. We're not really supposed to focus on the details. So let's, you know, back in your boat, back in your hideout. Um, perhaps you've recruited the new, uh, the new member, or perhaps he was always a member and he just wasn't available. Uh, oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, probably uh, they were. It's easier to say, like, they are already a member and they just weren't relevant, right? This minute. Yeah. So, uh, what are you thinking? You could always just choose not to help them, but, uh, probably in, in one or two scores, there'll probably be a decided victor on that. And if they win, if the Lamp Blacks win, of course, you'll lose your turf and probably be, uh, in a gang war with them anyway. <laughs> Excellent. Let's be careful of what we promise. Oh? 
I don't, know if, I don't know if you've seen us. We're not exactly a crew of killers. That's true. We're in the business of ending wars, not by diplomacy, not by violence. True. And I felt similarly, honestly. But at the same time, I didn't want to propose that to her because I felt like she'd take it sourly. I highly doubt she's interested in engaging diplomatically with the Lamplacks at this moment. Wars end. They all do. Either in defeat or negotiation. And right now, they're being defeated. <laughs> Certainly seems that way. And if, yeah, just to get the lay of lay of it is that the, um, the Lamplacks are like, uh, yeah, like a former union and they actually have a lot more members than uh then like no the 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 um the red sashes are more highly trained but yeah they're definitely outnumbered by the the lamp blacks uh so you know a lot of their a lot of the members of the red sashes they have they have better connection but they are not uh you know they they actually have like a legitimate business they operate also Mm. right anyway Look, if there's one thing that we can do, let, let me put it this way. Let's let's make everyone happy. Let's force the Lab Blacks to the negotiating table. How do you propose we do that? We take away their ability to prosecute this war long term. We take away their war chest. Hmm. So you're proposing we steal all their money? <laughs> Perhaps not all of it, but enough of it. Hmm. Let's I be like frank. If it comes down to a fight in the streets, we're going to die. <laughs> the lamp blacks, are too many yeah. lamp blacks, and the red sashes, up as they are, are getting swamped. And we're even smaller than they are. Yeah. What chance do we have if it comes to a fight? Nothing. We, we don't have a chance, but if there's anything that I believe that we can do better than anyone, it's two things. One, making deals, and two, stealing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I agree with that. And I look right. over at, uh, who is it? Is he already in the scene, or...? Yeah, we'll say that uh, Mr. Nevermind is in the scene. Or ambiguous, Zodiac? ambiguous Nevermind, sorry. I, uh, I, said I, meant, I said I said it like androgynous, I didn't androgynous. say it was ace. <laughs> are, you, are, are you a male or female then, sorry? I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with male. Male, yeah, so uh, Nevermind, uh, you look over, and... Um... Nevermind. Your architect friend, do they have floor plans of the Lamp Black's hideout? Or cuz? Or he, uh, with a little persuasion? Even if he doesn't, he can simply look at a building and know where things are based on harmonic resonance. Alright, uh, okay, cool. So, uh, it sounds like you're you're gonna go to your friend and ask if he has the plans. So, uh, let us say that. Uh, what role? What what role do you do? <laughs> like later on, he probably does have plans. But what role do you do to try to convince your friend to get it? Give them to you. I use consort. Consort. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's see. He he probably needs. He probably actually. I uh, gets you to like help him get the plans. He he probably knows exactly who has them. He probably knows how to get them, but he needs your help. So you're gonna use consort to try get them. Where? How do I change my character's name? There we go. But there we go. Oh, we're using our aliases. Never mind. All right. There we go. Hmm. 
Okay, so roll consort. Uh, what position should I take? Take controlled. Your friend is, uh, oh. No. Happened again. Okay. Standard effect, yeah, so he has the plans for the, the hideout, and he, like, tells you, uh, Ugh. The uh the the chat window popped out. Uh but anyways, yeah, he yeah, he has the plans and yeah, he has uh he has um kind of like motions and it's like this like big uh uh probably like, like villa in crow's foot. It's like probably an old and much van abandoned like uh thing. Uh, let us, let us look at what it is. I rolled it, but it, I don't have the chat window, so I'm just going to refresh the screen quickly. Did it, did it appear for you guys? Yes, yeah. apparently. Excellent. It's made of cut stone blocks with, a, with landscaping detailing, so I guess <laughs> the Lamplax are fans of topiary. Ooh, there's a building <laughs> like that here where an entire wall is just ivy and plants. I'm imagining they've like cut a hedge to look like a lamp. Uh, probably not like hedge in that sense because there's no sun. Uh, oh. So probably, Good but point. the but probably like yeah, like um, uh, there might be yeah, there might be like an old like hedge that like was 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 there like hundreds of years ago and and it's been slowly like. Definitely, maybe maybe an old hedge maze, like a little bit, uh, like a, like a central hedge maze. But sort of parts of it have been obviously just like cut up, cut up, and then have really regrown. So there's like paths in between. That's no longer a maze, or parts of it are no longer a maze. Um, but it's like this big, huge. Um, we'll say like maybe U shape building, um, but more blocky. Uh, that has like two wings and. Uh, like an old, like probably single story, uh, uh, building, and then maybe the central part has like two stories, and and um, yeah, so you kind of get like the lay of the lay of it, the lay, the uh, the area, and and probably definitely the vault is like on the plans, uh, so uh. We'll, we'll we'll get you to ask a couple more questions, and then maybe we'll all uh, call the session. It's, it's, it's getting into the territory where we want to cover next time. Mm. Ooh, agreed. Um. So, any more questions you want to ask about the before we begin? Give you opportunity to case it a little bit, or uh ask questions just about any particular person or something. So we haven't even really we kind of have an idea, but we can we haven't really defined the uh the plan, I guess. Right. Again, sorry, you can you go over it again one more time? Uh just the basics. Yeah, so there's a uh it's on a villa. We can maybe bring you over to a sheet. Uh, let's create a new sheet. Boom. Bring you over. Uh, so it's like a villa. And it's kind of like this. The buildings kind of look like this. There's probably like a hedge maze here. There's probably been like paths kind of cut into through the hedge maze. Uh, but the rest of it's probably like pathy and like withered. Uh, so it kind of looks like this and maybe like a second story here. And probably on the second story, it's probably like a big office or bedroom. There's there's a vault. And there's probably like also. Um, there's probably also like a wine cellar and you know, you've gotten plans. So there might be like what looks like a secret entrance or something in the wine cellar or there's a number of things. Um, of course, we could also like this and press boom boom there's a wooden building 
uh, next to it. We'll say it's this. We'll say it's a uh, one and a half story wooden building next to it, and a metal sheeting building with tiles. More, more like a two story, uh, two story apartment complex near it. Cause like this is old, and even, even though it's a villa, it probably used to have like large, expansive grounds. But nowadays it doesn't really. But uh, a lot of these thing places, yeah, are watched and stuff. Um, there, there is probably like um, nearby also a, like waterways because like the city is more kind of like Venice and like Amsterdam, where there's always like there's always some sort of waterway nearby. All right. Now, so. Uh, yeah, do you have any any questions about or like how how do you knowing this and knowing your goal, like what what is the first step besides like you know deciding what you're doing? Do you go and like Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to you can like look on your sheet if you have any like I'm trying to like get you to ask some of the gather information questions or something. Um yeah, Some, yeah, yeah, something yeah. related to try to like formulate a plan or do you guys actually want to pick your plan first or, like the detail and then ask a couple well, questions because no, like part of the point of the game is that you know as we go well i guess i think like in general we kind of like because we we have the the blueprints we kind of know some of these questions already like the best way in is probably through the wine cellar because it's hidden and like, uh, and we know, like, what we're looking for is the vault on the second floor, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, um, how can I get them to leave the building? Hmm. Okay, what 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 uh, role would you be using? Would you be re using uh, uh, like you you tell me? It could be like a survey where you're just like looking at the yeah, environment. I'll, I'll look survey, like I will. I'll look and see like what what's like. I'll just go out and stake out the place from a high spot and look. Uh, maybe you know, create a few potential distractions and see what gets them in into the courtyard. Okay. Okay. Just standard effect? Yeah. Yeah, standard effect. I'd say it's probably risky, but not too much. So, oh. four. Um. Let me look at this. The consequences. Hmm. Sorry. Thought I had the it, but it wasn't the right page. Uh, I think the consequence might be. Uh, my initial gut reaction is that it might be not. Uh, might be like more risky than it originally it would would be if you want to do that distraction but um yeah you're not sure how yeah i'm gonna say you're not sure how effective it would be but definitely me starting a fire either at, like lighting the hedge on fire the hedge maze on fire or lighting that wooden building next door would probably draw some of them out yeah okay well, that's the point. Like, I don't need to be given the answer, but like something that might be an effective distraction. Okay. 
Any questions you guys are interested in? Not really. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to think. I don't want to, like, endanger the operation, but I'm wondering if there's a way for us to find anybody that might be a good turncoat. Oh, uh, yeah, we could handle some of that in, uh, in flashback, right? You could just okay yeah, be like true, true. be like he he knows i know that there was someone there he i paid him off already or something right 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 um of course if you want to like establish that relationship now so it's more it's less stress to call upon it um you can oh, look, see, you can yeah, just was, look for yeah. someone and then we'll define what you've told them beforehand mm hmm Yeah, I'm wondering if it's even a good idea, because if I go asking around to see if there's anyone that's like a weasel in the lamp wax, like okay. that potentially gets word out that we're looking to like do this operation. So that's why I'm debating if I even should. Okay. Well maybe maybe not, and then uh, we'll save that for yeah. for the score next time. Uh all right. Well I think Can I ask another question? Sure, shoot. Um I guess um Assuming that we infiltrate through the wine cellar, get up to the vault, and then either make our way back down to the wine cellar escape that we became, or, you know, make our escape some other way, what should we be looking out for on that route? What are the what are the uh, what dangers could be uh, run into on that way? Okay, and how are you gathering the wine cellar information? Like to like to like trying to like come up with an alternate escape route. No, not really. I just like what should we like? What should we be prepared to encounter? Uh, like, obviously, if, if you know, like I don't want to do too much because obviously, yeah. I'm just looking at like what should I look out for? It's like a gather information check, mm -hmm. and I'm just giving you like my the general plan as I see it. Okay. If there's anything that obviously, are you? How are you getting this information? I guess are you? Um. Are you like studying the blueprints? Or are you well, how questioning about I, uh, people? Or you... I'm gonna I'm gonna prowl. I'm gonna try and stay unseen and uh, cast my eyes through the windows and uh, see what I can see. Okay. Position is risky, or I'll say it's risky. Yeah. Standard effect. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Yeah, definitely. There's going to be a large number of people. So, uh, and and likely, even if you do draw some of them out, there'll be a few people uh, in the like at the vaults at all times. Um. And and, and uh, I think because it's a six, I'll also tell you that you learn that the leader of the Lamp Blacks uh, his name is uh, Bazo Baz. He's uh, charming, open, and ruthless. And um, the second command is Picket, and he is conniving and suspicious <laughs> conniving interesting that might be something we can yeah and so a number of smugglers uh a number of smugglers on their payroll run their drugs all probably something you've you've picked up on that they uh always have like you know bo boats coming in and down the, like the lake and there's always like shipments coming in to and fro so what are these guys' uh, names? And uh... there's Bazo Baz and Picket. As the second command. Suspicious. Sorry, the first. How do you say that first guy's name or spell it? Because I don't know. I don't know what I was. What I should write. Picket. Like, I can figure out. B A Z something O. <laughs> Bazo. I think that's Bazo Baz. Yeah. B and then yeah. So B A Z S O then B A Z. Basel Baz. Basel Baz. Okay, sounds good. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we'll decide the score next time, but uh, I'm glad we did a little, bit of, a little bit of setup, a little bit of free play. You know, you come back and you you go on your boat and 
you spend long nights under the lamp uh, planning uh, on some plans uh, on how you're going to hit them and how uh, how effective how much effect it will have uh, to try to where it hurts try to sway them of the plan of course uh, we can think about specifically uh, what uh, if it could even you can even try to seize a claim from them anyway <laughs> I know you guys aren't like oh I don't know but uh, it's always an option to try to oh yeah one thing I was going to ask also where is their headquarters so their headquarters I think uh, I'm going to put it into like yeah the crow like the crow's foot in crow's foot okay yeah they're kind of operating on like a old uh, old yeah, building yeah, yeah. That's fine. I just didn't know. Cool. Uh, yeah. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to open up your or your thing there, the cruise sheet. Trying to open the cruise sheet. Yeah. So be on the. You can probably yeah. Like if you like actually try to seize the turf or uh, there's not too much on your on your holds. To try to seize from them uh, specifically. Um. Yeah, always keep out, keep an eye out on uh, something like that. Uh, it would be interesting. Uh, all right. So you have, where I think we're ending the session, but you have one coin left in your vault. Does anyone want to do an additional thing uh, before we're actually done? I mean, we can just mm-hmm. snatch it. Or you, or you can stash it. One of you guys is uh, a personal stash. Hmm. I think what we could do with it. I think what we can do with the coin. I'm, I think you could also make like multiple rolls toward like one. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think you could can make a multiple like, like a roll downtime effective. Yeah, to like toward a single like goal to like try to like oh get that dock on your side before next time or or uh... yeah. I mean yeah, if, if we were looking to do long term projects, I'd be partial to either trying to hide myself from Satara <laughs> or um, well we can or what we can do is we time. can we can get the um, with crew advancement we can definitely make our place hidden um so that if he does find you i mean we can uh i, I would say that oh yeah we have to do crew advancement so oh, sure, I, yeah, I would say if you did make the place hidden i would take one or two ticks off of that because you're actively going against it okay oh yeah i don't know we can also just uh yeah we can try and make uh make doc a uh, contact i'm fine with that sure i'll be done with that I tell so yeah okay so um yeah I tell you guys that he's looking to maybe he'd maybe be willing to distribute and this is a contact we should pursue a little more aggressively than we have done so far. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, who's gonna make that roll? It just needs you can make a ability. Tell me what ability you roll, and you tell me what you're doing. He's he's probably on call for you guys right now. Um. So he's probably like stopping in every once in a while because you you hired him to, or you like are like pulling up your boat toward uh, like across his uh across his office or something or like in the neighborhood right. and he like meets you at the dock. Is it cool if Sly does it? Yeah, anyone could do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll walk up and I'll have some of our red ecker with me, <laughs> and I'll say, you know, Doc, you've been treating our crew for quite a while, and. We've been paying you with coin, which is great. But how about if we paid you in something a little more precious than coin? And I'll pull out some of the red ecker and say, what do you say? Want to come hang out back in the station? Uh, with the uh, skill you're using. And, uh, using Sway. Sway? Yeah, sure. I think he is, uh, he is willing to 
Um, and he's he's not the kind of doc. He's like tier zero doctor, maybe tier <laughs> one. And he's not the kind of doctor that I'd be like. I don't definitely don't do drugs. He definitely does his uh, the drugs. <laughs> it's like <laughs> also like doesn't like your doctor just like take on like whatever here we would be anyway. It barely matters. Yeah, but I think if when we he, tear up, he'll be better. If he's a yeah. if he's an expert, I think it count. He counts as like tier plus one. His quality is better than a single person. But, mm. Right. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna gain him as an expert. I definitely think he'll be a contact. Uh, and then I think if you wanted him to be, right. perf- I think there'd be another clock if you wanted him to be like actually acquire him as an expert. Um, but he'll definitely like run your drugs and stuff out of his office. <laughs> And give you opportunities yes. and stuff. Okay. Uh, so can tell me, uh, making him a contact. With yeah. Me. So tell me, uh, yeah, you make that roll done. You said sway. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, I. He's like, he like definitely he like starts. Uh, he starts like thinking about it, and he's like, I think I might have a few. Uh, appointments this afternoon. I. He's like, I could cancel them, but. Uh, Let's see how that sway roll goes. Okay. So position controlled? Yeah. Or should I do it? Okay. Yeah, sure. And then effect standard? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to push myself. I'll just let it go. Mm-hmm. Hey. Five. That's two ticks. It's Five. definitely got him as a right, contact. I'll add him. Yay. Charles Doc Igmer. Is it her? Oh, contact. Sweet. And yes, we must also discuss our crew advancement. So do we wish to go with hidden and then some other yeah. thing? Let's do that. I like hidden anyway. It's just so flavorful for mm-hmm. like we just pull up stakes and park the boat somewhere else. <laughs> Cause yeah, Fresh we can... and we're just in an, another anonymous uh, river cruiser. <laughs> Let's see here. The hidden I like. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess other than that. Yeah. I mean, so Hawker's we're... rigging probably seems like pretty good. Mm-hmm. Hawker's ringing is nice. Um, we could upgrade the boat again for more carrying capacity and armor. <laughs> so you could always, like... always upgrade the vault, your vault also, so you, see you wouldn't be in that position where you have to spend. True. Uh, you could have up to eight coins in it. Yeah, I don't know, like, what the, the second upgrade for boats. Like, it gives it armor and more cargo capacity, but I don't know what that really does. Uh, if you ever armor. got in a boat fight, uh, you'd, you'd have armor on your boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Resist stuff, I think. Yeah. And we could hold more supply. That's true. But I mean, that's more like, yeah. Depends if we want to go that direction right that's now. That's a little more flavorful uh, in the yeah. sense of narrative, but yeah. Yeah. Um, um, we could upgrade one of our trainings. I know you guys haven't been using them that much, but we could get prowess or insights or even playbook going and that way you could level up some of the uh, other skills in that section more efficiently. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We could also go with quality things. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't remember what those do. Uh, quality. Different bonuses to different item sets. Right, it's yes. Like, of all the pieces of that type. Right, right. Yeah. Documents gear. Implements is arcane, supplies is like subterfuge stuff. I mean Hmm. I almost have half a mind. Is that too short sighted? Or is it genius? What? Well, to say like if we're going I guess I don't know if it'd be supplies or gear, but we're about to break into somewhere, right? Maybe we want to hide our thing and like upgrade our gear so we have like better lockpicks or whatever <laughs> so when we're breaking in like it's easier I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah, it's one possible route or if we want to think more long term we could look at the other things like hawker's rigging or the training um, 
Let me look up because I mean we, yeah. We look up the gear and like all that on the. Tell you what what uh, which one of those two you would do. If you were to go that way. Yeah, because I. Gear says it covers burglary gear and climbing gear, but then there's subterfuge supplies. Maybe it's because my misunderstanding of subterfuge. I guess that'd be more like disguise kits. I think those are like makeup and disguise kits and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, how do you guys feel? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think part of me just uh, rather than going for quality X, I think it's the kind of thing I like. Maybe if we find that we we need it or we're using it a lot, then it would help. Mm. Until we figure out like what we're going to be using more, maybe we can save it. I like Hawker's Ringing just because it's a unique, uh, so like it's something that just like only we can get as Hawker. It's, yeah. like, it's probably going to be better on average than the normal stuff. That's fair. And it's also generally purpose good, right? Like, yeah, and it, it's going to make all of our like, things better because we're going to have an additional thing to use if we want yeah. to need it, right? Yeah. So that's what I would vote for, hidden and hawker's rigging. But Okay. I actually agree with that. Okay. Tyler, you, you good with that? I can dig it. All right. So we have decided. Mm -hmm. so yeah, you can carry a, conce a concealed... Uh, and have no 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 load. For example, you can carry a load of drugs or a weapon, perfectly concealed, and doesn't take any inventory slot. Excellent. And we are sneaky. So we sneaky. can take a heavy load with while looking like it's a normal load. Uh, uh, I don't think it's quite like that. I think it's just there's we get plus one item on our load. Yeah. So if we, oh yeah, 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 that's that's exactly what it is. Oh, so sorry, if, yeah, if I guess it's exactly sorry, what it is then. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I forgot it's only one more load. Yeah, really heavy. But if you're yeah a light, you can get four items, which is almost a normal load anyway. Mm -hmm. But it would be only a, saying, only it, a single yeah. item. Yeah. Or you can bring seven items. Uh, if you're up heavy, like it, it is just yeah. a general thing. But yeah, you know. All right. All right, well, that's good to know. Uh, good to know. Uh, we'll mark that and we'll, uh, on your crew sheet. Good. The lamp wax. And you're going to hit the lamp wax where they hurt. I think if if win or lose, I'm going to to uh, reduce uh, win or lose. But uh, if you if you pull this score off and you manage to take their money, I'm actually going to give them uh, one lamp and mark their status down one. They'll probably become oh, enemies wow. with you. Um, but, uh, and then after the faction turn, after the score, we'll see what, uh, what comes up for them. Uh, okay. all right. I think for this session, I don't really think too much, uh, you guys, uh, we'll give, we'll give, look at, look at crew XP, I guess, again, because <laughs> we gotta do XP. Uh, did you didn't really do too much? Uh, didn't really contend with challenges. Uh, we'll give you one XP for yeah, like wanting to. You're an up and coming, up and coming uh, crew here, trying to Excellent. negotiate a deal and trying to pick sides. It's definitely <laughs> something with your goal of your crew. It's true. Uh, Being sneaky. For your guys, do you guys want to do quickly do XP? I'm gonna give uh, Sly definitely gives gets that one XP for dealing with his vice. <laughs> Yay! Or not Sly, sorry, um, not you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Charnel. Uh, Charnel. Yeah, Charnel gets us the XP because he, he problems with his vice. He just disappears. He's yeah. yeah he's just overindulging on on talking to pretty uh, women. Like he's a reply guy now. Didn't do much with his violence and didn't do much else because he went and went away. But you get to mark when he comes back, he'll uh, have a playbook advancement that you get to mark. So after next score, we'll either pick one of the two uh, and Charn will be slightly better. 
Uh, okay, and what does Sly, do you think you deserve any of these XPs? Huh? So, did everybody do challenge with knowledge or arcane power? Um, or did I? I mean, it dressed a challenge. I don't know about just a challenge. It was working on a project, but it wasn't really a challenge. Uh, he expects your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. If I wanted to stretch, I could say I expressed my um, background in dealing with Father Yorin, but I don't. I feel like that's maybe stretching a bit. So I'm going to say, nah, not really. Okay. Uh, and uh, red. Do you, do you think you? Um, I think you may to get get one. Or I think for stealth or evasion, definitely. Yeah, you definitely case the joint. Case the joint. That's it. Um, I think so. Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, all right. Well, I can't wait to meet. Never mind. Next session. Uh, see what see what uh, spidery goodness uh, he gets up to, and we'll see you uh, on that on the score three in uh, on part four. Uh, so Ooh. it's been a it's been a good downtime session. Thank you for tuning in, Dark Shadow Friends. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in, Shadow Friends. May you always stab people in the in the night, I guess, of, of Dustfall or something. May your crime <laughs> may your crimes always be undiscovered. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> your crimes be undiscovered and your treasure bountiful. Uh.